Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of our NHL 20 goaltender series with Everett Scott. As you can see, we are about to, well, we might win the first round against the Toronto Maple Leafs if we win this game today in Toronto. We will then move on to the second round. But I wanted to start this video off quick and just say that I'm sorry if my voice sounds a little raspy throughout this video. I think I might be getting sick. So, if you hear me clearing my throat or coughing or sniffling, that's why. So, even though I've been doing that a lot recently in my previous videos. But, nonetheless guys, just figure I'd give you a quick heads up so you're not wondering why I'm doing that all the time. But, regardless... We're going to play a full game since it is an elimination game. If we win, we move on to the second round. If we lose, we go to a game six. So, let's just get right into it, guys. See you at the start of the game. Hi, everybody. Along with Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. Welcome to Toronto. Well, to almost steal a uh, bullpen analogy from baseball, there's a chance to bring in the closer here tonight. Yeah, you bet. Step over another hurdle, James. Get to the next series as fast as you can. Alright, guys. I figured I'd let you watch that little intro, and I don't know why EA still hasn't fixed the goaltender stats bug, because obviously I am not 1-3-0. The Toronto Maple Leafs goaltender is 1-3-0, but nonetheless, that's not a good way to start off the elimination game, but we still have plenty of time. John Tavares gets his first of the playoffs. But yeah, we start this off uh, not, not too good, so like I said, we do have plenty of time still, so... We can easily tie this one up and take the, take the win still. So, But anyway, I hope you guys are excited to possibly see us beat the Maple Leafs in round one. I know I am. Hopefully we can get it done. And they got me on that one. That was a good play by them. It doesn't look very good if we're playing this shitty. But we'll see. Uh, anyway... Hopefully you guys are doing well. Hopefully you had a good weekend or a good week. My weekend's been pretty good so far. Nothing too exciting. I don't really know what to talk about today, so I guess I'll just focus on the game here. Maybe that'll help me actually play good, considering the first two shots I received I let in, so... Toronto's playing it through center. Moves the puck to Matthews. Carolina's got control of it now from their own end. So we get it away from Matthews, thankfully. <clears throat> Settles things down Sorry about that. Once again. What are we going to do with it here, boys? Flurry with the puck. Nice shot by Svechnikov. Just wide of the net. I feel like if we can get one, like, within... Carolina the in-game five minutes I feel like will be very good Carolina's got the puck behind the net. Oh, that's a nice pass Toronto's done a really nice job positionally tonight they've stolen the puck every time it seems when they needed to oh Scores! three straight goals here they have really laid the boots to those guys in the last little bit that one was my fault there was something I could do about it, and I just on an moved off the post, so. This might be an absolute terrible episode, more than it already is. But I guess we still have time, so it's only the first. As long as I don't, <clears throat> as long as I don't give up any more goals, I guess. Pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. And if my team could actually get something good going instead of losing the puck and giving bad turnovers. That was a good opportunity. Some 
Taves has it along the boards. Taves looks around. Battling for it along the boards. Sod's taking it from his own end. See if we can get anything going here. Centered out in front. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Matthews is on the attack. No, don't do that shit again. Jesus. Nice shot. I think that's probably our first shot. There you go. And we can't get anything going there. Dave Riddick. That's how you pronounce his name. Oh, nice play there. Oh, well, we got a power play. This could be good to get us on the board. But let's see how terrible my team plays here. Wouldn't be surprised if they gave up the puck. I mean, they can't even win the faceoff, so. Get my team play up, though, so. Nice shot there from Huberto. Really good positioning as he makes the stop from in tight. Carolina's got the puck along the boards. Handles the puck. Nice shot, just wide. He's got to do something a little better than that. Just can't finish it from there. Wonder if that gives him a nightmare later. Gets it out of his own end. Slides away from his crease now to play the puck. Scott's got the puck in his own zone. There you go, pal. Let's do something productive with it. Nice slapper. Blocked in front. Here we go. And then Ajo tried to get the rebound also. Just couldn't tuck it in. And manages to clear the zone. Comes out to play the puck. Sends it Huge pass up to Huberto. Over the line they come. Hammers it nice slapper. Kept in the zone, thankfully. We have seven seconds left. Ah, got stick lifted. Nice hit. Oh, O'Reilly could have tucked it in there if he would have got the rebound, but no dice for O'Reilly. We're finally playing with a little bit more momentum thanks to that power play, so hopefully we can get something going for us before the end of the first. Oh, nice chance by Saad. Just a better say by Riddick. Or Riddick. I just heard it, and I already can't remember what it is. Hamilton's got it into offensive territory. Here we go. Moves it to Saad. Ah. Carolina keep it in the zone, though. Down to Saad. Here's a short pass to Slavin. Taken by Saad. Come on, boys. Quick feed to Saad. Big or just give it up. Play. Crying out loud. Receives the pass. And that's broken up. Nice play there by Pearson to get the puck away from him. This isn't the freaking all-star competition or skills competition there, Saad. You don't need to stick handle around everyone. I thought that was going to go in, up and over me. That would I probably would have just rage quit there, boys. And girls. I don't know who's watching this, so. He's got to get that on the net. Palat's carrying it ahead. Moves it quickly over to O'Reilly. Come on, just shoot the puck. You don't need to pass it through all the time. You're crying out loud. Picked up along the boards by Palat. Jabs the puck away. And he serves it across to Nylander. And sends it just out of reach. That's the problem with this team is they try and pass all the time. They never just try and shoot the puck when they need to. They just fucking pass it every time. I get it. They're trying to get a play open, but sometimes you just got to shoot the puck because you never know what's going to happen if you just shoot. Matthews has the puck against the half wall. And that's broken up with a stick in front. There you go. Nice save. I'll pass that out. 
And now he angles it across to Bruce. Here you go. And he gets the puck right back. They've got numbers. Here's the pass. See, instead of passing it, Aho should have shot there. That's just my opinion. We got Snoop Dogg coming in period two, so that could be interesting. And I mean, we can't win a damn face-off either. I don't know why. I don't think we've had a problem with face-offs throughout this entire first round. I like how he chooses to finally shoot the damn puck when he has a guy practically humping his leg there, you know? Because that makes sense to take the shot. It's interception by Saad. Shoot it! Jesus Christ. Just stand there. You had no one on you. You had a wide open lane. You take forever to shoot. Nice save. Let's go, boys. Let's get something done before the end of the first. Shoot it! Jesus! Was that a delayed penalty, or guess not? Nice interception there. See if we can get something. Come on. Get to within two. I would have shot that there, but... Or we'll just fucking keep giving it up. Jesus. Oh my god, dude. Why'd you pass it there? This is getting ridiculous, the amount of passing. Well, that'll be it for two, so let's just get right, er, one, excuse me, let's just get right back into the second period here, see if my team can do anything else. There was only one goal that I think I had a legit chance of stopping, and that was the third goal I let in. The first and second ones, they're pretty good cross-crease ones. I don't think there's really much I could have done about them, but... That third one, that one was just me being stupid and coming off the post. Say, man, you know I like the, the goals, I like the hits, and I like the fighting. You like the scrapping element, too. I love too. the scrapping. Scrap till you get knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> and now he tries to get it across to... Nice long pass. For some reason, he just, like, gave up on it. He could have gotten to it, but he just gave up on it. Anyway, they come back down into our zone. We'll probably lose the face off. Kind of. Just the willpower that these guys have as far as being strong and tough. And then they cool, you know what I'm saying? They play the game, they're real tough and they real masculine, but off the ice, they're just some of the coolest guys you ever wanted to meet. Huberto's got it along the boards. And a stick in the lane ends that throw. There you go. At least you got a shot there. Away from harm's way. Nice backhand. Could have got the rebound. Riddick makes the save. Well, didn't really make a save. Just kind of stopped the bouncing puck. But I don't really know if that counts as a save or not. What about the Ducks Kings rivalry? Is there something there now? I think it's a little rivalry there, considering that the Ducks did happen to win the you know Stanley Cup once upon a time, and uh, you know that that rubs you know rubs the right way when you can win one of them things. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the one, the only Snoop Dogg. Thanks for doing this. Do you want to just hang out, watch the rest of the period up here with us? If you don't mind, I mean, I want to occupy this seat and, you know, watch some more good hockey, man. It's the best seat tonight. I can assure you we will make room. He is staying, everybody. Let's He's go, y'all. Hey. Shoot. Ah, Tara Vine, why did you spin around? Why did you spin around to do that shot on the backhand? You probably could have sniped it past Reddick from the angle you were at. Lots of hockey left to be played in this. <sighs>
No, he decided to do a spinorama and shoot it on the backhand. I don't get how that makes more sense than just trying to snipe it past him from the angle you were at. Because he was on his forehand, but then he spun around and went to his backhand. I don't know. There we go. That time I think I would have passed it over to the guy who's open. Nice quick shot, just wider than that though. looking to convert on some of these chances they've had plenty of opportunities i mean i still have confidence in this team to win this game i just they need to get something they at least need to get one goal in this period but by doing that they're not going to help themselves especially when i'm in net not going to be good and then it got sold even more so so that's a hooking call that he doesn't really like here we go. Double save. Thankfully. Where is it? Pass it out. There you go. If we're going to lose, we might as well try and get our... I don't know why I almost had a little accent there. If we're going to lose, we might as well get our team play up a little bit. Had a little accent there. The start of one, I guess. I don't know. Guys, I'm sorry I'm not really talking so much in this one. Uh, obviously, if you listen to the beginning part of the video, you know that I think I'm getting kind of sick. My throat feels a little scratchy, so it doesn't really feel the best to talk. So I apologize for that, but some of you probably would rather just listen to the game instead of me so you guys are probably enjoying it <laughs> but nevertheless i am sorry for not talking so much in this one but nice save another save I don't know if I made the save on that one or if he just missed. Come on, O'Reilly. Shoot it. Oh, my God, dude. You had all the time in the world to shoot it, and you didn't. And then when he finally did, I'm pretty sure he got poke checked. Or he just fanned on the damn shot. There you go. There we go. Tara Vinen took the shot and took his own rebound. They get us to within two here, so hopefully we can get another one to get back to within one, but I'll just take the one for now. Nice job, Tara Vinen. Got us on the board. Still plenty of time in the second. We could get back to within one. That'd be, that'd be nice if we could get back to within one before the end of the second. Here we go. Nice interception there. Sends the pass over. With possession along the wall. Shot. And there's Where is it? There it is. Hold it. I wasn't really holding on to it there. Just kind of sitting there. But thankfully they blew the whistle. The Hurricanes are still trailing by two. Puck has dropped and we are back underway. Oh, um, just a heads up, guys. Uh, since I am not really feeling the best and my throat is a little scratchy, I might just do this one video for this week. So I might, if I only decide to do one, it'll probably go up on Wednesday. So it's kind of in the middle of the week. But I'm not sure right now. I might do another one after this, but if I do... It'll be a quick one, so I guess it just depends on, well, I guess no it doesn't because even if we lose this game, the next game will be a full game, so I don't know, guys. Um, I might do another episode after this, but I don't know. It just depends. 
chance and you don't even get it on net. And now it's over to Jost. Dumps it in. And the goalie comes out to play the puck. There you go. Short pass to Slavin. Puck picked up by <clears throat> Sorry about that. Quick feed to O'Reilly. We have a lot of momentum now. Shoot it or pass it. Palat's got control of the puck in the corner. And now he moves it to O'Reilly. I might need to go into the sliders and bump down the moves the puck into the, the passing Here's a shot. stuff a little bit because I don't know what it's called. The, uh, the slider, the passing slider, the passing attributes or whatever. I need to bump those down a little bit because I don't want them to pass so much. Even though I don't know if the sliders affect how much they pass or how accurate their passes are. I don't know. I'll have to look. Thank you for getting it away from me. Or send it right back. Pass it up to Bean. That was a risky pass, but... You gotta do what you gotta do. Here we go. Ryan O'Reilly, shoot it. Ah. Nice shot, though. Saad skated the puck right into Riddick. Close to the end of the second period here. We're down by two. Thanks to Tara Vinen, we got on the board finally. See if we can get one more. That'd be ideal. If we could get one more before the third. Nice save. Pass that out. Almost put it in my own net. Here you go. Nice pass up to Pearson. Ooh, big hit on Pearson. Nice save. I saw that cross crease pass come in. I'm surprised I made the save, though. I didn't want to go over to the left too soon because then would have gave the guy on the right open net. But thankfully I made that cross crease save. I saw it was coming. If there's always a guy open on one side of the net with another guy on the other side who has one guy on him, it's always a cross crease pass. Oh, uh, another thing is I also turned down the the volume. I, I messed with the volume settings again. Like, uh, there's one called main volume. I put that down to 5 out of 10, and then I adjusted everything else also. So hopefully that helps with the uh, the mic cracking sound. I If that... If that doesn't help, then I seriously don't know what the deal is. It might just be the way I record these videos. Um, something with the way I record them might might do it with my setup. But I'm not very uh, tech savvy when it comes to all this stuff, so who knows. But regardless, I think it has gotten better. I don't think it's nearly as bad as it was. So... An improvement is always better than what you start off with. So. Well, we make a, make a couple good saves at the end of the second period. Nice shot. Better save by Riddick. One and a half seconds left to go in the second period. Still down by two. But could have been worse. We could still be down by three or down by more. But thanks to Tara Vinen, we are on the board. And that'll do it for the second, so we're just going to hop right into the third period here. Not going to waste any time. If we can score to get to within one right away, I think we'd be able to tie it up. There you go. And that's blocked away. Now over to Huberto. Come on, boys, get one quick here. 
Ah, why didn't... Should have taken a little bit more time to get the shot. Or, or at least tried to do a one-timer, not just... I don't know. It was probably a good idea to take the shot right away, but... I don't know. That's such a bad shot, though. See, if I was sl slaving right there, I would have just taken the shot. There you go. Hopefully that's not the best chance we get all period. Toronto's outplayed the opposition tonight, particularly offensively, as they lead it early in this third period. There we go. Win the faceoff. Slavin takes the shot like a good thing. Not a. I don't know what I'm saying, guys. But Riddick makes the save. Let's see if we can win this faceoff again and get another quick shot off. Fans being treated to a lot of offense thus far. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Takes it across the blue line. Moves right to the middle. Nice interception there, Teravinen. Teravinen's got it in the offensive zone. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Got to reset now. Here we go. Or just give up the puck right away. Ryan O'Reilly probably should have taken that in himself, but decided to pass it. Takes the puck at the point. And that's blocked. Wrist shot from the well, score. this game's pretty much done, folks. After giving up that one, we're not getting three more. So we probably won't even get one more. So I guess we'll just try and keep... We'll try and do good for our stats, I guess. Because we're obviously not eliminating the Maple Leafs here. But hey... That's always good because the next game we go back home, so be more fun to eliminate them on home ice. But you never know, I guess. And, oh my god, there again with the passing. Why? Just take the shot. Oh, well, we have a power play. See if we can get to within two again. <sighs> I don't know. There, we aren't going to win this game, guys. We aren't. My team spends more time fucking passing the puck than shooting it. So there's no way we're going to win this. That's not who I intended to pass it to, Bean, but... You just take the puck. Nice shot. Nice shot. Why is... I hate when the game does that. Your guy's just... Fucking off to Timbuktu or whatever. I mean, I know he's gonna lose this game, but he doesn't need to just fucking head to the bench now. That was a fantastic power play. Kind of like the first one. Spent more time passing than doing anything. Get out of here. You know what? We're going to lose this one anyway, so... Just kidding. Since there were guys right there, I wasn't going to go for the goalie goal. If there wouldn't have been Toronto Maple Leafs players in my way, I would have, but... Oh, nice attempt by Svechnikov. Can't get it in. 
Here we go. I feel like O'Reilly should have just fucking shot the puck there instead of passing it, but. Nice save. Nice save. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period, and we've got a 4 1 hockey game. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Here's a short pass to Palat. Along the wing, up through the zone. Pushes it across to Pesci. Quick feed to O'Reilly. Puck grabbed by Terabinen. And now it's grabbed by Palat. There you go, rebound. Oh, my God, boys. I'll get it. Scott's lugging the puck. That is way wide. Well, whatever. Get our team play up, I guess. Unless I get absolutely dominated. There we go. Well, that'll boost our team play up just a smidge, even though we'll lose and it'll probably still go down into the yellow, but at least I gave my team full momentum now, or full energy, I mean. Does this work at all these late messages? I, d I don't think so, because by the time you play them, so much has happened in between. Here they are on the attack. Nice shot. Or nice attempt, I guess. There you go. Better save. Out of the zone. Puck scooped up by Slavin. Here they come on the attack. Tara Biden's got the puck. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. I don't mind the attempt here. They're behind in the game. You got to take a chance once in a while with the puck. From the point, looks to make something happen. Takes a hit. He goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Excellent stick work on the play. Big time play right there. Moves it quickly over to Matthews. Slides the puck across to Hartman. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. That was a good little attempt there from my team. Sorry I got really quiet. I was just trying to stay focused, but... Good little attempt there from my team. Too bad we couldn't get the puck in that. But... Maybe we can get one. And at least say it was a close game. And now it's over to Niederreiter. No, if I wouldn't have given up so many goals right at the start, I feel like we'd have this game won. Nice save. And now he moves it to we might still finish with a decent save percentage. I don't know. Depends on how many shots we have. And I'm not going to look either. I just want to get this game over with. Nice interception by Pesci. Passed it for some reason. I don't... I'm definitely going to have to figure out if I can turn down how much they fucking pass. Because it's getting so ridiculous. Dermott's carrying it ahead. Slides it back to the blue line. From the point, they take control of it. And the lane's clogged up, blocking that. Pesci's stick handling in his own zone. Picked up along the board. Okay, Huberdeau decided to turn for some reason. I don't really get why the AI does what it does. I feel like there'd be a lot better scenarios that you could use, but. or situations you could use. I really don't know. I literally don't even really know what I'm talking about half the time when I make these videos. I just ramble. There you go. Nice play. Back to within two, but with the time remaining and how long it takes us just to score one goal, 
There's no way. Jake Bean gets his first of the playoff, 1647 into the game. Nice little stick handle move there. Who knows? We have enough time. Maybe we can tie it. If we tied it up, if we tied it up, I would do a backflip. Nice slapper, just wide. If we can get one more, I'll actually be, I'll actually get a little excited. We might actually do it if we score quick. Nice save by Riddick. 2.05 left to go in the third here. If we win the face off, we just gotta take a quick shot. Back Here you go. Or just get pushed off the puck. That's always good. That's always a good way to keep your momentum up. Nice save. Pass that out. Well, will we be able to get one with the extra attacker? Inside of the final minute here in the British makes the save. A critical face off looms here with the empty net. When the goalie's out, this face off is all important. Win the draw. We win it. Along the half wall with the puck. Here's the chance. Here, a nice shot, Huberto. British makes the save again. I mean, we we still have time. We still have time to score a quick goal here. Win the face off after the goal. Get into the zone, pull me, and score another quick one. We have enough time to do it. But we won't. There we go. Back to within one. I swear, guys, if we tie this up this late into the game, I'll be in complete shock. Oh, with the goalie crowding over on the bench now. now all we have to do is win this faceoff, get me pulled immediately. Finally, they put it into the net. We have 28.6 seconds left. Oh, a delayed penalty too? Okay, we have a power play. We have a power play with 20 seconds left. And we also have the extra attacker because I'm pulled. If we do not score to tie this, I will be pissed. We won the face off. Come on. Come on, boys. One final push. No, it's done. We had a good fight, maybe, maybe something last second. No. Well, we we had a good, f we had some good fight there at the end. We fought back to one goal, came close to tying it up, but just those three goals I let in right at the start of the game just they cost us for the rest of it, but. We have to at least go to one more game, but at least in the next one, we will be on home ice. So maybe that'll help us with a little bit more momentum because we have our hometown fans in attendance. But despite the loss, hopefully you guys still enjoyed. And once again, I'm sorry for not talking as much. Um, or who knows, maybe I talked the same amount. But regardless, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you have not done so already. And also... Make sure to turn on post notifications so you never miss another one of my future videos. And that's about it. So take care, guys. I'll see you in the next one.